Hi, Golden Battler here. Let's talk about camera controls. Or, more specifically, how the player interacts with the camera. I've been getting caught up on the Super Best Friends play of Dark Souls, which is what prompted me to start thinking about this. I have a clip from their playthrough that I'd like to share, so take a look. Now's your shot. I gotta know where I'm running. Or maybe I don't. hope your visual recognition's good. Shit! Ah, And there's stains on the ground? Probably because... Messages and shit. Okay, you did it. Congrats. I think Wooly swearing made it pretty clear already, but there were definitely some camera foibles there. But let's get more specific than that. At multiple points during his run, he took wrong turns. In the case that caused his outburst, you could maybe argue that he just didn't see the stairs because they blended into the background. But notice right afterwards, he padded right into a wall before correcting the camera to see where he was going. So what happened? Well, obviously I can't peer into his head and give you an exact answer, but I can point out what seems to be an over-reliance on the automatic camera. There's probably a more technical term for this, but I don't work in the industry, so that's what I'm gonna call it. And what I mean is that in most modern 3D games, if you move your character to the side without touching the right analog stick, the camera will pan slightly to match you. It'll sort of auto-correct, if you will, but it does it in kind of an inconsistent way, and you can test this for yourself. You can use Dark Souls for this if you have it. I'm using Dark Souls 3 because it's less of a pain in the ass to record, and it has these convenient circles on the ground for me to follow. So I'm just gonna position the bonfire to be roughly in the middle of the screen, and I'm gonna do a couple laps around the room, doing my best to position the camera more or less steadily on the bonfire. There, pretty easy. It wasn't perfect, but it was close enough. Conversely, if I do a lap around the room without touching the right analog stick, here's how it looks. As you might have noticed, we are now flipped 180 from how we started. Like that. So, there's two problems with this. One is that it's just inconsistent. Your camera's position doesn't finish relative to where it started. The second is that relying on that doesn't allow you to gather information easily. And I have another clip here that might demonstrate what I mean. Take a look. Okay. Oh, the camera. Oh, jeez. You weren't even close. No. You were like full five feet yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Now, while I imagine most people will clue into him repeatedly failing to hit the tail there, there's a bigger issue from where I'm standing. He spends about seven full seconds circling around something that he can't see. And if it attacked him, he would have almost no ability to react. Maintaining proper camera control allows you to gather information while staying on the move. For example, let's say you're running along when, oh no, you hear something behind you. You do a 180 with the right analog stick, and a 180 in the other direction with the left, and now you can see behind you while still running away. I'm not suggesting that these are particularly advanced tricks or anything, in fact they're the basic fundamentals, but it's important to keep them in mind. For my examples, I specifically chose clips where Wooly was under duress, whether from fighting a giant dragon gator or having some big asshole throwing grenades at him. Unlike a lot of people in their comment section, I'm not just trying to shit on Wooly for being bad, I'm just saying that we tend to fall back on our instincts in tense moments, so building up those instincts to best serve us is a valuable use of our time. And, for all I know, Wooly's already caught on to this stuff in a later part and made me look like a damn fool. But, I wanted to air my thoughts on this and maybe get people thinking about it more than they have been. The way I see it, video games are a hobby, and hobbies are about self-improvement, right? So, hopefully somebody got something out of this. 
anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you later.